Hey guys, welcome back. So today uh, we are going to look at how you can use external data files in Postman to run your collections with different data values, right? Before we start, if you're new to our channel and watching these videos for the first time, so if you like our videos, you can also subscribe to our channel, QA Script, right? We have got um, 100 plus videos on different automation tools, uh, ranging from automation testing tools to CI CD tools. Right? So, if you are interested, then please subscribe to our channel. You will get access to all these videos. Plus, you will also uh, never miss out on any video, uh, any new video, which we keep on launching um, almost every week. Right? So saying that, uh, let's go back to our postman. And so we'll be learning how you can run your collections with external data files, right? So what I'm talking about, if you open collection runner, uh, you will see an option called the data, right? So you can select a file here. So for example, if I select any collection here um, and you select any environment, right uh, here it asks you to select an external file right now you can um, select two types of files right so either it could be a json file or it could be a csv file right so there are two types of data files now um, we'll be working with the json file right um, so first let's have a look at our um, request threads so let's prepare our request so that it can actually use those data variables right so this is another type of variables uh, variable scope right so the scope is limited to the external data file so all the data comes from the external files and you don't need to pass any data in your api request or in your environment variables right so um how you can do that right so for this let's look at our weather api request right so we were using this get request to get uh, weather by city and here we are passing the city name uh, with all the uh, query parameters right so um here um say for example this uh, query parameter right so this is the city name and every time i need to change this even though i have this in the environment variable I would still uh, need it to change that environment variable, right? Uh, without that, it, it won't work for different cities. So if I want to run the same API request for multiple cities, right? How, how should I do this? So I need to take uh, the help of an external file, which will contain all the city names and I can read those city names from that file and pass it on to my request, right? So let's first turn this into a variable, right? So I will give city, okay? Um, let's remove all the environment variables, although it's uh, not required. It's, it, it will still work if you have an environment variable, but um, let's uh, make sure that it's not using the environment variable right so it's an unresolved variable right now uh, but while executing we will get this variable okay now uh, let's come to the test right uh, if you look at the body response body right there is a name which represents the city name right so if i'm passing mumbai in the response the name is mumbai okay so i would like to validate that in my request right so every request uh, with a different city name i would i should be able to verify that that city name is present in the response body so i will use um a snippet here where which we have already seen so the json value check right so i will name this as check city name okay and here um, i will pass the name and then in equal i will get the variable from the data file right so for that you can use pm dot iteration data dot get and inside this you should be passing your variable name right 
which is city for us. Okay, so this is what you need to do in order to get the uh, value of the uh, variable which is in the external data file, right? So we use the iteration data dot get and then the variable name. Okay, so this is all you, uh, we need to do uh, changes in our API request. So let's save it. Okay. And um, let's go to our notepad, right? So here I'll be creating a JSON file. Okay. So this is my uh, test test JSON file. Um, I'm starting with a square bracket because it needs to be an array of values, right? So right now, if I just pass normal normal um, this uh, normal brackets which represents some values in the JSON file, right? And let's save this. So let's go to a collection runner now and uh, okay so let's select our weather api and we don't want any environment and we want to select our data file right so this is the test.json file and you can see um, as soon as we select this file the iterations is automatically changed to two because I have two elements in the array, right? In the JSON file. Now, if you want to see what is present in this file, right? So there is an option. So data type is automatically selected as the JSON, right? Uh, there is also text CSV, but ours is a JSON file, okay? And if you want to see what's present, it will show you this preview data which will have the iterations. So one and two, we don't have any values right now. So let's go ahead and put some values here, right? So here uh, we will be, we'll be using the CT, okay? And uh, it will be in the key value form, right? So every JSON file is in this format and we'll be passing the value here. So I'll pass Mumbai here and then we'll have another one right so this will be again city and this time i'll pass chennai okay and i will have a third one here which is so this will be delhi right so all metropolitan cities and this will be our last element in the array, right? So this JSON file has an array of elements with three array elements, right? Um, and this is the variable city, which has three values. Okay, let's save this file. Let's go back to our collection runner, right? So um, I will again select this or let's close this file select it again and you will see now the iterations is changed to three okay if i preview the data it will show you the variable and its value right iteration one two three so mumbai chennai and delhi okay now um that's all you need to do in order to run your test from an external data file right so the test data is coming from a external file this can also be represented as a test driven um, test driven automation right because you are uh, driving your uh, test from a external file so let's run this and in the collection runner you will see there are three iterations which are being run right um, and all the three tests which we have added. So the check city name is passing, right? So it is validating different city names in each iteration, right? So this is for uh, Mumbai, this is for Chennai, and this is for Delhi, right? If you want uh, 
to see uh, what is the actual name which is being used here you can also print uh, you can use the log console.log uh, method to print the city name right so you can print it print the value here and verify okay so there are three iterations um, with different data right so this is how you can um, export or import data from an external file right use it in a variable and run your test for multiple iterations with different data from an external file right so this is pretty useful when you are working with huge amount of data right for your variables um, environment variables um, some sometimes will not work uh, with certain parameters like here because we need different city names so either we can um, we can have different environment variables uh, declaring these city names or we can have an external file which we can change um, based on our requirements every time and we just need to use that file in the collection runner right i hope uh, this video was useful if if you found this interesting then please like and share this video as uh, mentioned earlier you can also subscribe to our channel and get access to similar videos on different automation tools if you have any questions or feedback please leave a comment i will get back to you so thanks for joining this video um, see you in the next video